Ellie, no, split the. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with a review for the book Dangerous Girls by Abigail Haas. I ended up giving this book a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. It is so mind-blowingly good, you guys. I can't. So this book follows seven friends who decided to take their spring break in Aruba. After a drunken night of partying, one of the girls, Elise, is found brutally murdered in her room. Everyone is pointing their fingers at Anna, who is Elise's best friend, and now in a foreign country, she awaits trial for the murder of Elise. But is she the one who actually committed the crime? And that's basically where the story starts, and you have to figure it out. It's just such a good book. I didn't expect to like it as much as I did. I was kind of going into to it a little skeptical because usually I can call books really well so I was like oh it's gonna be obvious I'm gonna be able to tell who it is and it's gonna be stupid but so many people said I would not see it coming and I definitely did not see this coming. So Dangerous Girls is a YA psychological thriller. Right from the beginning it's going to have you hooked. The first page is a 911 phone call where the teens are all discovering Elise's body. The book has a lot of transcripts, 911 phone calls, newspaper articles, TV transcripts. It's just really cool to read. It's really cool to read because it has like different aspects from the case that it throws in there and it's really interesting to try to figure out who the killer actually is. The story is told in a varying timeline so there's some parts of the story that are told from when Anna and Elise are first meeting in high school, there's parts during the vacation in Aruba, there's parts during the trial, and there's also parts where Anna is waiting for the verdict and the situation with all of that. The story is told in such a way that you're trying so hard to figure out every little detail to try to figure out who the killer is and it's just so much fun and it's so engaging and you think you have it figured out one second and then the next chapter will bring a plot twist and a little bit of information and you're like okay so maybe it's not that person and you literally suspect everybody at some point in the story the writing style flowed so well there was no like choppiness to it if that makes sense it was so easy to read and so engaging that like you had to keep flipping the pages. I read this book in one sitting because I needed to know what was going to happen next and what next piece of information was going to be provided so I could figure it out. I was honestly so wholeheartedly invested in every single character and the plot of this book and like I just needed to figure out the mystery, which I never did. And the person who it ended up being, I did not see it coming, and I was sitting there, literally with my jaw hanging open, my mom was like, so, did you figure it out? And I was like, no, I don't understand. Like, I was seriously mind blown by this book, it was so good. I don't want to say too much about the characters, since this book, everybody in the book is a suspect, so you need to figure it out yourself. But I loved every single one of them. I was so into the character. I wanted this one person to be responsible because I didn't like them very much. But it wasn't them and I was so upset about it. I was like, you should be in jail. I had so many theories about who the culprit was. And every single one of them was wrong. So like, I'm disappointed in myself because I'm usually so good at calling these kinds of things. But I had no idea. And like, the last line of this book, man, it gets you. I was like... Oh, dang. Okay. And I really liked how unreliable Anna was as a narrator because she would one second be so innocent and then the next second you would see another side of her and you're like, wait, what? And then she would be innocent again. And it was like such a mind-blowing thing because she would like be really nice about one person for one second and then she'd be like, oh, but I actually hate this person. And you're like, okay, wait, what? And then like you couldn't figure out the characters because Anna was so unreliable. I definitely think this is an underrated book. It was on my shelf for like over two years and I just like the cover doesn't do this story justice as like at all. It looks like it's gonna be like a little contemporary love story. Yeah, no, no, it ain't a little contemporary love story. It is so much better. So if you haven't read this book, I seriously recommend it because it is so entertaining, it is so engaging, and like you will literally have no idea what's going on half the time and you're gonna suspect every single person is a culprit and you're probably wrong. Alright guys, so that was my review of Dangerous Girls by Abigail Hawes, 5 out of 5 stars. It blew my mind. I loved it. And if you haven't read it, please read it. 
I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!